Hello and welcome to another part of Jekto tutorial series. This video is on the kernel development. This is a series on the kernel development. And in this video, we are going to learn about how to integrate the device driver in the mainline kernel. Previously, we learned how to add an external module to the kernel and how to load and unload the module. But in this video, we will be integrating that particular device driver inside the kernel. It means inside the U image or Z image and we can also see in the uh, menu config. If you don't know how menu config works, please check my video and I will put the card on the top left, uh, top right and uh, you can check the video on that and also on the device uh, module, how can we insert the device module, please also check the video on that. So but in this video we are going to do some theory and explanation and this is the part one and the next video we are going to do some practical implementation of that. So now let us begin. So first of all I have these two images and we are going to learn using these two images. So here first of all we have here some steps that we have to follow. What we need to do is first of all we need to get the kernel sources. This is the first step and then what we will do is we will initialize it as a git repo then we will find a folder named driver inside the kernel sources then we will find the relevant folder what does the relevant folder means for example we have a kernel related to a gpio or kernel related to spi or kernel device de uh, sorry not the kernel uh, the device driver related to the gpio device driver related to for example i square c or device driver related to SPI so we have some uh, devices that works on those uh, protocols so there are the different folders for them so we have to find the relevant folder uh, on the which category or on the which uh, device folder on which relevant device fo driver folder our this uh, current driver falls and then inside after finding that device relevant device folder we can also we we have to create our own device folder inside that folder so but it can also be done that we can use this the parent device folder to put our driver but this is a step so we find the relevant device driver folder and then inside we'll put our driver and then inside this we will create a key config file it is a configuration file that we get for example if we uh, when we invoke the menu config so the menu that we see it is due to this key config file so this key config file will help us to see our driver settings on the menu config then we will have a make file that we need to compile our driver then we will create or copy our driver files or file inside this folder now what we need to do is we need to make the key config entry in the parent k config it means the k config is a kind of a hierarchy so if we have this k config we need to tell uh, our parent uh, for example our this uh, relevant device driver folder will also have a k config and we need to tell that we also have an other k config inside this so we need to put the entry of this k config in this parent uh, device driver folder or driver folder and then we have to make a make file entry inside the parent make file and then we will create the patch using git and then we will apply the patch using vb append so here you can see the device folder uh, the folder structure how it will work so this is the device driver folder here for example this one is related to this one and this one is related to this parent folder this device folder can also be your parent folder but right now we are using a device folder then what we have is a in this folder there would be a there will be a k config and there will be a make file and here we will create our own device driver folder and inside our device driver folder we will create another k config file another make file and we will put our sources in here 
after making our key config file and make file and after writing the key configuration and make file we will we have to do the entry we, we, we have to tell this key config that we also have a children key config and we have to tell the tell the make make file that we also have a child make file and we have a child key config so in this form we can see the hierarchy so this is about the theory uh, in next video we will learn how to do this practically and we will create and we also we already have our tab hello world uh, module and that module we will try to integrate in our mainline kernel so hope you like the video please uh, like and subscribe my channel and uh, i will see you in the next video thanks for watching